One of the most asked questions I get on my YouTube channel is mainly where I buy my supplies from. My craft supplies, of course. So, I'm going to show you where I buy everything from, or mostly everything. So starting with clay, this is Sculpey Bake Shop clay, and you can find this at Walmart for 97 cents. This is what I buy if I'm in a pinch. And then if I'm not in a pinch, I will come to Hobby Lobby and I will buy this just Sculpey 3 clay. Sculpey 3 is my favorite clay and it's just so nice. And here's the Primo clay, which I get from time to time, not as often. And I don't think I've gotten Primo clay in a really long time. And then here is the Kato Play or Kato Clay. <laughs> um, I don't buy this stuff at all because it's hard. And then of course the female effect and female soft. And then here is the female professional. In the Hobby Lobby they have like an overview of each clay. Kind of like a little description about each clay which I absolutely love. I mean, I seriously don't think anybody loves Sculpey 3 as much as I do. And then here's the Sculpey Souffle Clay, which I have yet to try. And then they, of course, have these kind of bargain packs, which I absolutely love these. I get these every once in a while as well. And they also have polymer clay molds made by Sculpey and then they have clay cutters here which is where I always buy my clay cutters and from time to time I will buy my molds here. Something else that I thought that was really cool, they have texturing sheets. I've never purchased these but I think they're really neat. And then they have little decorations. I would personally use these for resin and not for clay. And then they have like this mold maker which I believe is pretty much polymer clay. <laughs> So now on to the fun stuff, here is the resin. So this is amazing casting resin, it turns white. Here is my baby, this is amazing clear cast. And then here is the giant bottles of the amazing clear cast. And here are the molds that they have specifically for resin. And over to the left, if you can see, there are all of the pigments that they have for resin as well. Some of these molds are really nice. And they also have like little books that you can get for making jewelry out of clay and resin, which I thought was really interesting. So there are some of like the mica pigments and stuff. And then here is some of the glaze that I use, the Sculpey glaze. And then just look at all of this clay. I just wish I seriously could have gotten all of the things. But of course, I couldn't because that would be insanely expensive. So now for paint. This is what I usually color my resin with. And I get asked all the time what I use to color my resin. And it's just cheap paint. The cheapest paint that you can get because you don't want to be spending a whole bunch of money on paint whenever you get it a lot cheaper. See, this one is $1.19 per bottle. Just walk two steps down, 77 cents. So <laughs> here are all of the colors that come in that I mean the paint aisle in Hobby Lobby is glorious. It's huge and <sighs> look at it all. <laughs> And then they have like the giant bottles of paint and I thought this was really neat. They had these like little water brushes. I love those. And then I like looked over and I saw all of the glitter and kind of stopped in my tracks because I didn't know the glitter had moved to this section. And I kind of wanted to admire everything just like, I don't know, I really love glitter. And they have a really nice section of glitter. I really liked these. I was going to pick these up but decided not to but really pretty. So the next thing that I always get asked is where do you get your stickers and one of the places that I get my stickers is Hobby Lobby. Another place that I get my stickers is eBay and Etsy and they, I have like this local Japanese store that I go to to get stickers for really cheap and sometimes I do get asked where do I get my art supplies and I get my art supplies from here. The funny thing is is that these Copic markers are supposed to be locked up as you can see, there is a note right here that says, please ask for assistance for Copic markers. And it's just, it's just, it's wide open. What? Oh my God, that is just like the biggest no-no ever. That was kind of crazy to me, so. 
Oh, oh my face. No. <laughs> um, but yes, these are my babies. These are the Prismacolor markers, and I love them so much. And I really want this Koi watercolor set. Oh, here's the watercolor set that I use in the majority of my videos. And then there's a baby version of it. I just found something. <laughs> it's this like metallic watercolor set. And it's it's a dollar twenty-four. I couldn't resist not getting it, so I got it. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I just really love Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and then I decided to go and check out their sketchbooks because why not? And they actually had a lot of stuff on sale. So I found this little sketchbook, but it wasn't for wet mediums. But then I found this one, and the paper was really, really thick, and I told my boyfriend to touch it, and he was like really mesmerized by it, which is great. <laughs> as you can see, he's like filling up on the paper. So I decided to get that as well, and yeah, that's kind of it for this video, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And this is mainly where I go to get my art supplies. I'm not even kidding you guys. If you need art supplies, I would definitely suggest going to Hobby Lobby or just searching for it on eBay or Amazon or even Etsy. But yes, that is it for this video. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.